So one thing we haven't really discussed yet is how to manage multiple copies of our infrastructure. In other words, how do we manage different environments using this same uh, configuration code base of Terraform? So far, what I've done is essentially hard-coded the environment we're in, and I've just used staging for now. So everything we create here is just using that infra env variable that we created, and that just sets everything to staging. Now, what if I want a production environment or a QA environment or anything else? I can't really just change this to production and be on with it, because what's going to happen is Terraform is just going to read that I changed some stuff in the current existing infrastructure and try to change it, mostly in the form of tags. That's not what we want. What we may want and probably want is separate sets of resources per environment. So how do we go about doing that in Terraform? There are actually a few different ways we could do that. One is change this, the infrastructure environment, to production, for example. And then you can even change your key here for your S3 backend to something like Terraform production.tf state, which is a completely new state file which can have and track this different infrastructure using the same configuration code. Similarly, we could use a completely different uh, AWS account, right? So we could have like Cloudcast production for a profile versus Cloudcast staging, and those can be completely different AWS accounts. And there are other tools for this as well. Um, one thing we can do and use is workspaces. So if we do Terraform workspace help, we can see that there's this notion of workspaces, and we can create some and delete them and all that good stuff. And each workspace is actually its own configuration, its own separate state that Terraform creates, and we can use workspaces to segment things like environments. And there are some other strategies for this as well. But the point is, is there are ways to have separate environments, separate uh, copies of the exact same infrastructure using your same configuration code, right? So we can actually reuse all of this code we have here and create separate copies of our infrastructure. The question is, how do you want to do it? Because there are multiple ways to do it. So I'm going to cover two different ways that I like in the next few videos. One is going to be using workspaces, and the other one is going to be using a directory structure with some helper scripts. And both of these ways have some trade-offs, which I'll talk about as well. So we're going to see workspaces coming up next in the next video.